Sounds all running, Rolling. yeah. Do that, take four. I think this, this town and the region around it are very rich in uh, story. So we kind of ha didn't have too many problems finding strong stories to base the songs on. And the stories that we found kind of uh, spoke to the locations that we decided on. Um, so um, this is our 10th tourist walk now. And uh, we've done them in Ireland and different parts of Britain. Uh, and then we've also done one in Ghent in Belgium. Um, this is the farthest north we've ever gone. I didn't really know what to expect um, before coming here. Uh, and the first impression of Norland and the region was certainly really positive. Um, it's very beautiful. It's, uh, there's a lot of forests around. There's a lot of rivers, a lot of nature. And it's incredibly peaceful as well. So it's, it's, been, it's, it's been really nice being here. But it's been good because normally there's a, a challenge in terms of uh, recording all the songs in a day. You only have so many hours of, of sunlight and here that's not been an issue. So there's been a running joke of, we need to hurry up before sun sets. And not a very all, funny joke. We'll share a laugh. <laughs> Two of the stories that we picked were the gold mining history here in the area. Yeah, combined with the berry picking tradition as well. Um, that was that was Ura. Um, we named that song after the old gold coin um, of the same name, and the story kind of joined both traditions. So Boonstan uh, is just behind us here. Uh, traditionally, people had to go to church by law, and in order not to miss it, if you were lived quite far away, what they did was they came the previous night, uh, so like on a Saturday night, and they stayed in these cottages, this kind of little village next Far to the farmer's church. Farmer's village. Yeah. And um, they would st stay the night there and then go to church in the morning, and then they would all uh, leave again, you know, after after church to get back to to their farms. We wanted to collaborate with our our host uh, Roscoe and Cece, so I've. Uh, Roscoe is an amazing uh, Scottish songwriter who's been living in Chilefti for about five years. So I asked him to come up with an idea and he, he came back with this beautiful melody and words and then we took that and we moulded it um, into something that we thought would work and we came back and forth with a lot of Swedish lyrics um, as well because we wanted to involve one of the big things we've been getting into is the Swedish language and especially the, the Norlenska uh, dialect. I think that we're going to be talking about this walk for a long time and I think the reason is because of the people. We have been welcomed wholeheartedly by every single person. Not only in their words but through what they've done for us and what they've done for Tourist Walk and how much time and, and love they've put into everything. It's been uh, a great experience getting to know everybody over this week. I think if uh, for anyone thinking about visiting Shalefti I would say to not only is the town centre lovely and there's a lot, lots of great heritage and historical spots like Dreamstand and like where we are now, but also to get out around the surrounding countryside and see the forests uh, and the beautiful little villages that we have out there. It's really 
you really get a sense of authentic Norland, authentic Sweden. Um, and it's, you know, the stuff that you, you'll always remember. And you know, the stuff that's just out of the history books you can actually go out and see. So, uh, particularly if you're interested in, in walking, nature, peace, peace and quiet, and beautiful, uh, beautiful surroundings, then it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's a great place to come.